Hello folks, I've got a problem with my deadbolt here and I need to replace it. The problem I have is this key is really hard to get in and out. Coming out is okay, but going in, you can see there and now I can get, so it, and sometimes you can't even get it in. So you see the problem I've got. And this is the type that's keyed on both sides not the, the normal flip. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So first thing, we've got these two screws here. Most of these deadbolts have the same type of thing. We're going to take these out. Now on the way in, you want to be careful and you probably don't want to use a power drill. And I, you don't want to take both of those out now that I get started here without holding the other side because the whole drill is going to fall, the whole lock is going to fall out when you take these out. So those are done. Okay, I'm going to pull this, this piece out and got my hand on the other side still. And I'm going to pull this out. That was easy. And you can see what I've got left. I just got this bolt the deadbolt itself, and in the way that deadbolt is attached is with screws here. So, got to pull these out, there's only two of them. Got both of those out. And now, should be able to wiggle this out. And there we go. So I've got that out. Now I've got my replacement components right here, and it's basically the same thing on the, the reverse on the way in. So here's our our new deadbolt, uh, the lock on the outside, different screws. I've got my own screws because I want to use some longer ones. Uh, the faceplate, the faceplate is fine. That's the part that the deadbolt locks against, and that metal has these deep screws in there. That's not the problem, so I'm not going to mess with that. I'm just going to replace the deadbolt itself. The next thing to do is to put the deadbolt in. And if you see on here, should have a little arrow, a little thing that says up here. So when I put this in, I need to make sure this is up so I can read it. And you'll notice that on these things, you can turn them one way or the other to make them longer. And that's just, it depends on where your hole is. There's a standard distance. Mine happens to be the shorter one, but the way you line it up is you put it in there and you want to make sure that that little plus sign is in the center of the hole. It'll be obvious if it's not, and if your hole is over, uh, then you would just take that out and you would spin it and put it back in and then it'll be much longer. Okay, so I'm going to have the arrows facing up. And here's another tip. Sometimes you take your screws out and your holes where the screws are they're stripped and now you don't have you now you, you put your screws in there and they just spin simple way to fix that find a couple find a piece of scrap wood out in your uh, out in your garage or wherever I like to use these little cutting pliers so you just get a little strip of wood cut a little cut a little chunk like that out of them make a little wooden nail and I'm going to cut it about that length there and just to give it a sharper point I will cut the point there that looks pretty good and now with your little wooden nail there you just put it in your screw hole that you had and then you just tap it with a hammer until it so it doesn't go in anymore. Now I'll just cut that. Not, none of this has to be perfect. Cut that as flush as you can because if you don't cut it flush, you'll have a hard time getting your deadbolt to sit flush. And I'll do that to the other hole. And then that way, when I put these fresh screws back in, they've got virgin wood to grab onto. And then this will be much more secure. Now I'm going to stick the deadbolt into the, the door there. I've already plugged both of those holes with the wooden nails I showed you. 
I'm gonna put that in there. And make sure again that that little arrow is pointing up on there. Now I just need to screw these fasteners in. Just like the ones we took out. Here we go. All right. The next step is to take the outside piece. This is the piece from the outside to put the key in. Now I can tell that because that's the inside piece. It's got the two screw holes there that I showed you at the very beginning. On this piece, this stays horizontal and this horizontal piece goes into this plus sign there. And as you turn the key, this whole plus sign turns and it makes the deadbolt open and close. So I'm gonna push this in here. There we go. You can see the prongs went in there. And then I'm gonna take the piece on the inside and these will go vertically in. See, vertically in. Try to match that in there. I'm just going to pull it out and show you. They go through these holes and they match uh, up into holes in the back of the outside part. So sometimes you got to play around with those, but you want to be careful because if you strip those, you're in trouble. So just use them by hand or use a regular screwdriver. I don't recommend using a power drill because that can easily strip the holes. The thing about using a manual screwdriver like this, you can feel whether you're in the threads or not. And you can tell, oh, that doesn't feel right or it feels right. With a electric drill, you won't be able to feel that and you might strip the threads and then you're in trouble. So you're just gonna, and then you, and you want to tighten these lightly snug on each side, then go back and forth half a turn at a time, so that it tightens up evenly. And I think we're pretty good there. Looks nice. Looks on that side. Everything's in line the way we want it. Now uh, try the key. Oh, that goes in there much smoother. All the way in, nicely. Try it on the outside. Beautiful, beautiful. Problem solved. 10 minutes, that whole job's 10 minutes. 15 if you have to make your wooden nails. And that's how to replace a deadbolt on a door. Good luck to you as you try it.